Hello kitties. You know how you like your internet challenges? I've got one for you. It's called the Is It So Good Challenge? Because I realized after standing in front of this blank wall for the last 10 years of my life that, wow, I really don't understand what's happening in the outside world anymore, especially seeing as KFC could be delivered to your door. So I wanted to know the stories of people who actually work there. Tell us him. I thought that there'd be some great ones about, you know, oh, there was this guy with sunglasses in there once. We told him to take it off. He said, no, I'm not taking it off. It was Corey Worthington. And the chick that fills in for Tracy Grimshaw, she's my manager when she's not doing a current affair. So we collected your stories, assuming that that there was going to be some gold in there. The guy that was collecting him said, there is gold, but it's Midas Touch Gold. It's so good that you are never going to want to touch KFC, let alone congest it for the rest of your life. To which I said, I'll be the judge of that. And so can you. I mean ingested, not congested. Also, let us know in the comments if you got a bunch of autoplay ads for KFC in this video because I love it when YouTube does that. As soon as we're attacking a corporation, that's when the big bucks start rolling in from said corporation. And to that I say, I do care. I love it. Well, I do. How can you not? Give us your stories on KFC as well. Make sure that you come to my Melbourne show. All the profits of that are going to the flood relief and it's also going to be filmed, which means... Half price discount! Yeah! I'd like to see KFC beat that and... Oh, uh, yeah, no, nah, there's pretty good deals there, so that's a plus for them. Now, time to shit on them for the next 15 minutes. The gravy is made from solidified lard. See, I always thought that it was made from water and dirt, so that is a huge improvement in my book so far. It's also made from the chicken bits that are collected from the bottom of the pressure deep fryers. Well... Yeah, that's more lard. Just, don't let that go to waste. The potato is made from white powder, all right? Uh, we are in the second sentence of this and I'm already starting to feel sick. <laughs> the washing up sinks are designed to give you a back injury. I, drinking milk, I don't know if that's true. I don't think that that was the intended feature of these sinks. But then again, you worked there, so I'm just going to take yours as gospel. There you go, KFC. Do a better job. I had a mate who worked at a KFC a few years back and one day had a bloke of meth head descriptions <laughs> pull a knife out and try to rob them for a Zinger taco. Yeah, well, what did you expect? That's the price you pay for putting on the uniform, son. Would you be taken off the menu years ago? All right, I think we could safely say it. The customer is not always right. He didn't get what he wanted, so after a couple of minutes of slurring, yelling, he settled for a stack of burger, ran off. Jesus, oh, still got it for free. The police arrived a couple of minutes later and said they were very aware of the bloke. Which makes perfect sense because the next day he came back in order to feed. Needless to say, the police were called again. Yeah, and what he did in that is, he came back the next day too. And those dinner tacos back yet, man? Worked there for a year when I was 17 as a cook. Manager forced us to clean the hood above the fryers whilst they were on and cooking nuggets. Holy f you're the guy from Elysium. Look, you go clean the fryer, or we'll find someone who will. And then you can go clean out your locker. I would stand with my feet on top of the fryers, ready to slip and deep fry my feet. Hey, when KFC says, we're training you for the outside world, they're not right. You could be a type road gymnast. The manager threw a bag of frozen nuggets at a girl because she was too slow. Holy shit. What is it with managers of shit stores having these massive power complexes? You know, like the president of the United States doesn't think they're anywhere near as powerful as the assistant manager at KFC, Tung Curry. You wanna see the manager? I am the manager. He's too powerful! And kind of, it is kind of like if North Korea was fried. Like, look at it. They still have pictures of their founder everywhere. <laughs> he banned me from returning there, refused to serve me a few times. F persistent, Jonas. Because I only gave a week notice for my casual resignation. Look, buddy, can I just say, no matter how bad that guy made you feel, there is no way you feel anywhere as bad as he does on the inside. Stephanie writes, the chicken stomp was where you, the dodgy 15-year-old chef do like that you put it in inverted commas and very aware of your abilities drop the raw chicken on the floor stomp on it and then batter and fry an absolute delicacy the flavor one of the secret herbs and spices is bacteria my younger brother works at kfc in southwest sydney well i hope there's a white lady's funerals right next to it it's just convenient that way isn't it they got complaints of the bin room stunk and they're all like oh yeah that's normal lol 
Then they checked it because people kept complaining about it and they found two dead rats decomposing in there. It smells funny in there. No, it doesn't. One time I reported to the manager that like 20 crates of chicken were all going blue and off and I was paid to cook it anyway. You see, I was just expecting that that was happening there. <laughs> like, dude, there's a reason they call it Dirty Bird. Not me, but I had a mate who worked the register at KFC and told stories of his manager who sold coke on shift through the drive through window to his customers. Holy f**k, I didn't know that anyone that goes to KFC would be that highbrow. Pretty sure he wasn't caught since he posts pics for barley every other month. Now, see, now don't make fun of that guy. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Australian dream. He did what Chappelle Corby could not. Not worked myself, but I had a mate that did. Sometimes I'd have a tender that would fall on the floor after taking it out of the fryer. Everyone worked there, obeyed the unspoken rule to place it back with the rest of the tenders to serve the customers. They would call this the lucky tender. <laughs> and it was an unknown gamble for other customers. I love all these euphemisms for like <laughs> dangerous food malpractice. <laughs> it's so Aussie. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm really sad. It was a rite of passage. I should have almost killed a couple of guys in my youth, you know? It seems to be a huge part of this job, knowingly giving someone salmonella and then off to uni. One time I was cleaning around the side of the deep fryer with a cloth and because it was slippery due to the oil, my hand slipped into the deep fryer and fried my hand. Oh, I was waiting for this one. Okay, uh, my skin was hanging from my hand. And how's this for an understatement? It was pretty gnarly. Well, I gotta hand it to ya. You got a good sense of humor, mate. Like the video. We used to fling around raw chicken tenders and call them chicken penises. Again, top-notch euphemism. And like the uniforms, like the decor, like those scary little shrubs that they have near the driveway, let's make these national. Put them all in unison so everybody's on board. They're called chicken penises until they fall on the floor, in which case they become lucky tenders. They evolve to the next stage like they're dead Pokemon. Once during a slow night I saw a co-worker at KFC do squat above a deep fryer and an actual poo in it fry it up and serve it as a chicken tender in a meal deal they were eating in Lyndon don't waste our time we know that didn't happen we all know that it'd be much better to just pulp it up and serve it as gravy well, this one's short and sweet they started sewing the pocket shut on the uniform because one of the employees was pocketing popcorn chicken during workout Oh, he ruined it for the rest of you. He was like that guy at Hoyt's that stole just a bit too much money from the till. It was just like, yeah, okay, $20 missing from each shift makes sense, but $400? I think that's exactly what happened with the popcorn chicken. It just exploded in front of the manager. Oh dear, it is so hot today that my marbles have been deep fried. Guy drove through the drive through backwards. He entered through the exit and truly fucked everything up. <laughs> Worked at KFC in Melbourne CBD for three years in high school. Was pretty good for the most part. Dude, how bad was your childhood if you thought that was good? I've been to that KFC before. <laughs> it's not pretty good. In fact, I'd say it was pretty bad. <laughs> Watch your manager pick up cooked bacon from the floor and drop it into the popcorn chicken fryer to sterilize it. Yes, it went into a burger. Yes, I should have stopped it. <laughs> I like that this gives him flashbacks. That was his Vietnam. They said that it would sterilize him. The only thing that got sterilized that day was a part of my soul. He should have learned that Charlie don't fry. Charlie was the manager on shift at the time. Just gonna keep this old girl on for the rest of the video because this Albanian minty jacket apparently isn't annoying enough to people in the comments. So let's see if that generates a few more. Also, thank you to the person that gave us all of these uh, wartime memorabilia helmets. They were, uh, they, they smell like war. I'll, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. Still smells better than most KFCs. I worked there when I was 14. The floor was so greasy, if you weren't wearing boots, you could slide from the kitchen to the window to save time when it got busy. <laughs> yes, you and fucking Nancy Kerrigan, eh? These teenage wonder girls of the ice. I was working at Richmond KFC. Ugh, you poor man. And about 9.40 p.m. a bald guy comes in with blood all over him and his fist shaking. Obviously he'd just been in a punch up. 
He ordered a popcorn chicken. Unfortunately, his hands, obviously from hitting something, were in pain. So he couldn't pull his card out. So I had to take his card out of his wallet, pay for it, and then put the card back. Oh, uh, sir, can I just say, you are an Australian hero. Or the guy getting in a punch up and then ordering KFC is either one. When I asked if he needed help for his injury, he said, nah, she'll be right. And then left the store. Archer, I take it back. You're a great guy, but you are no hero. To be a hero requires a certain amount of stoicism. On the day I quit, I was tarred and feathered with sweet chili mayo and flour by young staff in a psychotic moment that was triggered by a vindictive genetic cesspool of a store manager. Oh, look at this. We've got bloody Edgar. Alan Poe watching this channel. It's very descriptive. Pretty sure I punched one in the face during the molestation. <laughs> It was all a blur. And definitely how Edgar Allan Poe would have written it. You got those charcoals back? Never more! Scoffed the dirty bird. I took a shit in the pressure cooker the day I resigned. Twelfth secret herb and spice was added to the bunch. The other eleven are still a mystery. Well, I'm glad one of the secrets has been unlocked. My mate worked there and he told me stories of huge pussy cysts in the chicken and one day he ate a chicken beak. TG, what's a pussy cyst? Oh no, this is going to turn into one of those Ben Shapiro memes, isn't it? Pussies aren't moist. If you have a moist pussy, you have to see a doctor. When I was 15, this dude was showing me how to breed the chicken when a roach the size of my thumb dug its way out of the breeding and scampered off. Um, there was a small moment of silence before the guy just says, Eh, don't worry about that. And continues the demonstration. Okay, so what have we learned today? I learned that there are many more cockroaches than I expected in KFC. And it wasn't like I was expecting there to be a severe dearth of them. But there seems to be way more than even I could have imagined. And I also think that there is just a tally board at the back of every KFC with how many people each teenager is hospitalized. And that seems to be their badge of honor. That's what they want after their, it seems, 9 to 12 months of valor. Valor service. At ease, Colonel. Now, do you want us to collect other stories for other places that you have worked? Because I love reading these. They're so entertaining. It was just, th sorry, but this was the short list, you know? It was just like Australian Idol. There can only be one. But there were so many applicants for worst employee at KFC, apparently. That's what this video seemed to turn out. And as such, I am never ever eating a KFC ever again. Hey there, uh, can I get a large Zinger combo uh, with Pepsi Max and a large popcorn chicken meal with Mountain Dew? Please share and comment below. Command.